in many ways, Jesus' death and resurrection is an Exodus story, just like the Exodus is in some ways a death or resurrection story. You, you sort of see that from Israel's side. They, you know, there's the death of the lamb, and they go down into the depths of the water, and then as they emerge the other side, out into new life, their enemies are killed, and they live in freedom and new life. So in some ways, the Exodus is a death and resurrection story, but in many other ways, the death and resurrection of Jesus is an Exodus story. And the whole gospel's written that way. It's like Jesus is living himself Israel's exodus in his own life from the birth narratives onwards and lots of references back to the exodus story down into Egypt back out into the land and so on right the way through the transfiguration Jesus is effectively telling them about his exodus is the word that is is literally used in in Luke's version and then you see it right through into the crucifixion and resurrection where Jesus goes down into the grave uh, where there is a meal he has with his friends and then there's talk of, of blood. It's a Passover meal. He then goes down into the depths and then arises to new life in the morning and the sort of as the sun rises, the sun rises. Um, and so, and then you even, even tiny little amazing parallels like the fact that when Israel comes out of the Red Sea, there's Miriam standing there saying, sing to the Lord because he has conquered. And of course, Miriam in Greek would be Mary. It's the same name, Mariam. And so you then have this Mary on the Sunday morning looking out and saying, sing to the Lord, he's, he's conquered. He's brought life out of the grave. We, our enemies have been thrown into the sea. Death and hell have been defeated as we've seen the sun come up out of the depths. And it's so many ways in which like that you carries on actually through into Pentecost and then into new creation as well. But so many ways in which the way the gospel writers tell us the story and the very things that Jesus has done in dying for us and rising again echo that Exodus story in profound ways such that if you read one, you get further insight into the other and vice versa. So it's a, it's a very powerful series of connections that I think helps us make better sense both of the Exodus and of what Jesus did for us.